think what Danny Alexander said this morning may make a difference in the long run. You set out long-term commitments, and business will like that. If you look what's happening over the next few years, it will really have very little impact on growth and jobs. At the moment, capital investment is falling. There's very little new money coming through before 2016, 2017. So whatever it does in the long run, it certainly is going to provide us a boost of growth in the short term. Some of it could have been done now. If the government had shown a bit more courage and a bit more imagination, they could have brought forward the shovel-ready projects, the ones that are ready to go, can create jobs, and will actually save money in the future. Think about road maintenance. Roads in a very bad state at the moment. Bring that repair work forward. You'll save on future bills. And if you have to borrow to invest, remember, you can do it more cheaply now than you'll ever do in the future. did one good thing. It um, preserved and invested in Britain's knowledge infrastructure. I think it was very important that the Technology Strategy Board got extra funds, that the science budgets were protected and remain within the Department of Business, uh, and that the capital investment for the Department of Business in was increased. Um, but that's because there's a logic to business working with the Department of Business to co-create wealth and mitigate risk. But that same logic of partnership, interdependence between public and private that informs the decisions that were taken by the Department of Business does not inform uh, the wider judgment in the, um, in the spending review, which is to carry on this um, really close to mindless um, reduction in public expenditure, cumulatively uh, swinging uh, uh, reductions in, in the size of departments, the Foreign Office, uh, the Department of Communities and Local Government, uh, cut by 40, 50 percent cumulatively, uh, and with more to come allegedly in the next parliament. So you shrink the state uh, indiscriminately in, with one hand, and then with another hand you say, well, the state matters in co-creating wealth in another part of the forest. Uh, today's announcement by the government of £110 billion on infrastructure projects uh, covered a lot of aspects on energy. Um, one of the key announcements was to uh, uh, support green growth there. Uh, it was, the message was a bit more clear than before, which is quite welcoming. At the same time, government needs to go a long way to implement these projects. The major concern is how government is going to implement these projects. Now, I'm going to highlight a couple of ideas, uh, what has been announced and how it would be probably uh, implemented. The government announced uh, they, would, they would be supporting Green Investment Bank uh, with uh, quite significant investment of £800 million, pounds, which is quite welcoming. But the government has to make sure that this money, this pot of money, reaches out to the SMEs uh, to create more jobs and to, create, uh, to support innovation. At the same time, government also announced £75 million on uh, uh, capital investment to support innovation in uh, energy. I think it's a quite a good announcement, but the challenge now is for the government that how they implement this. Um, it connects to the point of OPGEM's report that there would be an energy deficit in the mid-decade. Uh, at the same time, Energy Secretary gave uh, assurance that there would be no deficit of energy for the businesses and for the people, which is quite welcoming. Uh, on the front of shale gas, I think there was there's a quite of controversy and there's quite a number of important points that are being going around. However, Energy Secretary assured that shale gas uh, gas power power stations are more low carbon compared to coal fired, and I think that is quite right. Uh, shale gas powered stations would definitely support the low carbon energy future for UK.